Pittsburgh police consider the fire that destroyed three cruisers overnight suspicious. And right now they're on the hunt for the person or persons responsible. This happened in the parking lot of the department's training center on the north side. That's where we find KDK's Shelley Bortz, who talked with a legal expert to find out if this crime could be considered a terroristic threat. Shelley. Remnants of what greeted police when they responded here early this morning can still be seen on the parking lot uh, pavement. Now, while police say they don't have a suspect just yet, this video camera right here that you're looking at, police say that will help them catch the culprit. Those vehicles were fully engulfed in flames, and it's pretty safe to say that those are going to be a total loss. Pittsburgh police say they were called here to their training academy off Western Avenue on the north side around 2.30 this morning. When they got here, three of their cruisers were up in flames. There really was no indication that we needed to be on high alert or that, that there is any specific security risk. Police are investigating this as an arson and are working with the ATF. Legal analyst Phil DeLacenti says an attack of any kind against police can be considered a terroristic threat, depending on the motive and intent of the perpetrator. There's going to be many crimes that result from it. Whether or not it's a terroristic act and or a, a, a hate crime under the federal or the state statutes is another story. That's where the investigation will be so important. Dilicenti adds that since 2018, these types of crimes have risen tremendously, which puts a strain on the relationship between law enforcement and the very people they serve and protect. There has been an increase in not only domestic crime, but international crime, and that is something that we all have to be concerned about. Now, we'll update you on this developing story on air and online as soon as we get new information. Reporting live tonight on the north side, Shelley Bortz, KDKA News.